Here I've got 10 buttons in this group here. So I can either see this as one group of 10, one group of 10, or 10 lots of one button. Either way, there are 10 buttons here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got one group of 10 equals 10. Or one times 10 equals 10. Now, if I look at these two groups, I've got two groups of 10 equals, well we've got 10 here and 10 more, 10 and 10 is 20, two groups of 10 is 20, or 2 times 10 equals 20. And I can continue this pattern, 3 times 10 equals 30, and you're probably starting to notice that we've got this digit repeated. And we could repeat if we carry on again onto the fourth group. Over here. I need to turn it around. So I've got four groups of ten there, four times ten. Equals 40. So I'm going to take away those counters, those buttons, and just have a look at the first fact. So if we've got um, two times 10. When I multiply a number by 10, what I'm effectively doing is I'm moving my digit one place to the left and I'm adding a zero as a place marker. So this is our ones column and this is our tens column. So two times 10, I move my digit one place to the left and add zero as a place marker. Let's try three times 10. I move my digit one place to the left and I add zero as a place marker. Four times ten. I move my digit one place to the left and add zero as a place marker. Okay, so when you multiply by ten, you move the digits one place to the left and you add zero as a place marker. 